I know we've been over this probably about like five, maybe five tops times about a potentially broody hen. Now, I've tried this so many times as you know, so many times that you don't know about. There's at least two videos I uploaded about potentially broody hens, and this will be the third, I believe, but I've gone over this with myself so many times. I've had so many false alarms. I thought I might have a broody hen. Well, today I have the perfect broody hen setup. As you can see here, we have a watering container perfectly accessible just by stepping out of her front door. And right here, we have a feeder, perfectly accessible simply by stepping out of her door. Now, when a hen is broody, <clears throat> there's a few different ways you can tell. First of all, they love making dinosaur noises. Dinosaur noises, check. Another sign. Oh, there you go, she's getting a little aggressive. They're not usually, they, this one doesn't usually peck me, but there she is. Another sign, she's sitting on eggs, okay, check. Another sign. She's using feathers on her chest. Check. So, so far we're passing a lot of tests here. Another test that um, is basically she stopped laying eggs. Now I know she stopped laying eggs because basically um, her vent where she lays her eggs, it kind of like dries up and it doesn't look like an egg could potentially actually even fit out of it, which it's yeah, I'd have to like show you, which is really hard. But I know that she is no longer laying eggs due to that fact. Now. I've set a, a reminder date on my phone, 21 days from today, because this is when I saw she went broody. Another reason I believe she might possibly finally be broody 100%, so I took her out and I put her on the ground, and then I lifted her back up and put her right here in front of the eggs, and typically, if she's not really interested in brooding and she was just sitting there for no reason, so she'll just run out and off the door because she doesn't really like me too much, they're kind of scared of me. But with me standing directly behind her, she walked back into that door and she sat down on all of her eggs. And then I watched her fluff herself up and nestle down. I was like, you know what? I'll give her a shot. I know in the past, when I know I had a broody hen, she wasn't doing that great a job because she'd sit in eggs in this nest box. Then she'd come down on the ground to get her feet in water. And when she went back up, another hen would have taken her nest box to sit in. So she would just be like, you know what? This one works for me. And she'd sit in that one on like no eggs or only a couple. So she never successfully hatched a batch. I'm hoping as long as I keep or stay on top of grabbing the eggs out of these nest boxes, then uh, the several she has underneath her, she'll actually stay focused on. And uh, this way she can step right out, grab her water, step right out, grab her feed, and get right back in there as soon as possible. I have this hooked up here so that if a hen tries to lay a nest in that box, they can tug on this and push on it and it will not fall off. So that's check. Well guys, here we are, night time getting to be dark outside and she's still sitting here even though all of her sisters and friends are all roosting we got a chicken in there it's a young hen I don't know what she's doing in there then we got a cat I just put her in here for a second to see what she's doing she's just watching the chicken and licking her lips so uh, we might get her out of here but uh yeah so so far so good I'm so excited guys, it's the next day, she's still sitting. This is so exciting. So that so far is a whole 12 hours at least that I've noticed she's been sitting on the eggs. So uh, the incubation process 100% has begun. Let's just uh, hope she sticks through. Day three, as you can see, she's getting used to sitting there because now she's just sleeping the day away. But uh, that's day three and she's still sitting on them. This is day four, I believe. So, quick update. We now have two broody hens. She just started today. I think she's been sitting on them all day. And she didn't go up there to roost. So I think she might be going broody now, too. And then this one would be... That's two broody hens. I put six eggs under her. This one's got, like, nine under her. And uh, you've just gotten to the point where you can actually see her babies under her now. And uh, this one just started, so if they both hatch, this one will hatch a couple days after hers do. But yeah, so we'll pick you guys up, of course. We'll do little updates, and then hopefully we'll finally get some little chicks. Alright guys, so it is day 9. I give her a little feed today. Hopefully uh, she'll eat, and she has been actually. She was looking a little pale today. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I gave her some feed. Day 9. And she's still sitting, so yip de doo Day 10. Day 11, 10 more days. Well guys, it is day 12 now, and she's no longer on the eggs. The eggs are warm, the chicks are still alive, 
but I don't know how much longer they'll be warm. I think she might have just gotten off them. And I saw her outside uh, dust bathing, which I don't think is your typical activity if you're sitting on eggs. So I'm actually going to go start up our incubator and put them in there, I think. And then if she comes back in, I'll have some like other eggs here. And if she starts sitting on them, I'll give her her eggs back. But at this point, there are living chicks in there, and I really, I really don't want them to die. <laughs> and I'm worried she might have given up when she was so, so nearly there. She'd gotten so far, and she's doing such a great job. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now, and hopefully she'll be back on them. All right, so I did a little bit of research, and it said that typically a broody hen knows what they're doing, and they're pretty smart about their eggs. And they won't leave them for too long for them to die. I've also read that some chickens have been known, and this has actually happened on a lot of occasions, to leave their clutch of eggs for hours. And then come back and still have a perfect hatch. And I got a little spooked. So I went out and I caught her in the yard. And it was really funny. Because while I was trying to catch her, she was, uh, she was doing all the broody chicken stuff. She was like, fluff it up. And running like a little poofed up chicken every time I got near, she would poof out. She'd go, Wah! and that made me feel confident that she probably knew what she was doing and she was gonna go back to her eggs. But I was just worried that um, she would come back and sit down on her eggs, and one of the other hens would be sitting on her eggs, and she would not um, be able to get back on her eggs. And then she might just sit in a different nest, and then I wouldn't be back out here till later, and it might be way too late. And so I just caught her and I put her right here, and I was gonna do the whole incubator thing but I put her here and she stood on this step for a couple minutes and then she stepped back in there and sat on her eggs well guys it's day uh, 13 I believe we're on now eggs are warm to the touch but once again she is off of them and out of the coop so we're on day uh, 11 this one's broody but I keep taking eggs from her because I obviously don't want her brooding and I think she'll be back in later tonight I'm worried, but uh, I'm gonna let that that bird's instincts take over. And if she her eggs die, well, it's unfortunate, but we're just gonna hope for the best. Well, guys, I honestly don't know what to say. For the past two days, this one's been taking over the broody process. So I don't know if they've made a deal here, but I try. Like yesterday, she was sitting on them, and I took little Nugget, who's supposed to be sitting on them and I put her on these eggs, and then I came out a couple hours later and she was back on them and Nugget was in that in this box. And Nugget just went out for her little morning routine and this one is still sitting here. So I'm like, uh, well, I'll just leave it. And, uh, so that's what's gonna happen. And we're on day, what's today? Uh, day 13. All right guys, so I was actually wrong yesterday. Yesterday was not day 13, it was actually day 14, which makes today day 15 because today's the 11th and they started the 28th so not counting the 28th it's the the 15th counting the 28th it's the 16th day and I think I think I'm supposed to count the 28th <sighs> no I guess you just have to count it in the afternoon so by like this afternoon it'll be 16 days so yeah we'll just call it 16 days or something I don't know day 16 uh, five more days to go Day 17. Day 17. Okay, guys, so I don't even know anymore. I did the math from the afternoon that I saw her sitting on eggs, and that would make today day 18, not to day 19. We'll just have to see. I was expecting them Wednesday, but I have on the calendar Thursday. So they might come Wednesday, they might come Thursday. I'm not exactly positive, but this will be a good learning experience to see how exactly the 21 days are counted as far as the little chicks are concerned on the inside. But yeah, so far so good. Also, really random, don't know how this happened. Um, she had originally 10 eggs, then one got squished as we know, and now she has eight. And I have no idea where the other one went. I thought maybe she pushed it out because it died or something, but it wasn't down here. The pigs were in, were in here, though, and they like eating the eggs. So, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what happened, but it's pretty bizarre. So, yeah, anyway, that's, uh, I, we're going to go with day 18, which means we're still three days away. <laughs> All right, today we're going with day 19. It's 
going to check to make sure nobody is hatching. No pips or anything. From what I can tell, there's no pips. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just check up tomorrow. Guys, so here we are. It is the middle of the night. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I ought to unplug that again because you're not going to be able to hear me. It is, what time is it? Darn it, I can't even see the time. It is late. It is like 10.30, nearly 11 o'clock. And the chicks are hatching. I have to show you. I just had to. I come out. And um, unfortunately, I have some unfortunate news as well. One more of the chicks actually was uh, crushed by a hen earlier today and was dead in here. But those four eggs right there are hatching. And I actually decided to try something. Um, this hen, she's been broody for the last uh, maybe week. And uh, I gave her three of the other ones, which are also hatching, if you can see kind of right there and right there and then that one these actually two of those weren't quite ready to hatch but anyway in the morning we should have babies i'm so excited guys the day has finally come but the video is not over because not all the chicks have hatched and they are still a little damp we haven't gotten to the point where they will be walking around the yard so nice and cute but that is one of the eggs that hatched underneath her she now has Two little chicks, there's the one of them, and the other one is a little drier, and is back behind Mama, there he is. So there's two little chicks, look at them, oh, there's a little chick, wow. This one's babies, Um, they did not hatch yet, They're all three of them are on the way now, if you remember, and look at her with her baby. She's gonna push her under her. Just wait. She's gonna push her under her. It's your baby, mama. I would also like to share a bit of what I learned throughout this process. First of all, it is obviously more practical at this point to hatch eggs in the incubator. You can hatch a larger amount with a higher success rate. But, having said this, I also realized that I think if you ever have a broody hen, you should probably separate her from the other chickens as soon as possible because the sooner you do it the more likely she'll be okay with sitting on the eggs in the new safe location you put her in and if she gives up early on the eggs are typically not spoiled and you also didn't kill any chicks so sooner is better so next time I have a broody hat I'm definitely gonna probably move her and put her in like a cage like that like that guy um, just so that you can hatch or clutch and they're safe from other chicks, um, chickens because we had a pretty good, pretty good hatching success. Um, but a couple of them did get squished on the way by other hens who would come in to lay their egg and then accidentally step on them. So that is something that I've learned about broody hens and potential hatching ideas. Now, I still have these divided up, as I said, but I'm debating as to whether I should just give all the little chicks to her since they were hers in the first place. So that might be what I do. I don't know. I feel bad, though, taking eggs from her. But they haven't hatched yet, so I don't feel really bad. So I'm just going to take them. Did you hear them? <laughs> Look at them. Oh, they're too cute. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for now. See you guys... Here we are with her little chicks. We did run into some tough, unfortunate issues though. These little chicks, there were seven on the way and a, quite a few of them were actually killed by other hens that were bullying her and her chicks. And so I separated them over here and they have been fine all night. There are a couple more in the incubator that had like some wounds that I wasn't sure if they'd get over and they have gotten over them. And I'm going to bring them back out here today with this with this girl. But I was worried it was her at first, but you can't really tell. But right on the top of her head there when she lifts her head up, she has some black marks. See? Just like the roosters, because she had been biting the other hens off. So I was worried. I didn't know how her chicks were getting her scars on her head because... Oh, did you see her hit him right there? So I think that was like a motherly sort of hitting, though. I don't think that was like, I want to kill you. And the scars on her head say to me... 
that she was trying to protect her chicks from the um, other hens. All right, guys, here we are. This is the next day. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of little fluff balls. I'm pretty sure there's actually a chick underneath her right now. Oh, shoot, I should probably check. Can you get up for me here? No, so there's actually a chick missing. Should be a little gray one, I think. A dark colored one, at least. Is it under you? I just can't see it. Oh yeah, there it is. That guy's the youngest. He only just hatched. As you can see, we have three little white ones and then three little gray ones. Mom is being a very good mom. I'm very pleased. And just like in the movies, if she pecks at something, they peck at it too. Super cute. And I believe I told you about the maiming or how some of the chicks were killed. Well, if you look at this little guy, he was actually attacked. And if you look at this side of his face, you cannot see any difference. But the moment you look to his other side, oh, the swelling has gone down tremendously. He looks so much nicer. That's his eye right there, but he was pecked pretty badly on this side. My father thought he wouldn't survive. I thought he might not. But as you can see, he's doing much nicer now. He can only see out of one side of his face right now. I don't know if he'll ever be able to open his other eye. But as of right now, he's doing quite fine. Mama's doing quite fine. And this guy was having trouble getting out of his shell. So he's a little bit behind the others. And if you look on his back here, see if we can get a better picture. There's a little bit of spice where there's no feathers. And that's because... Um, it was very hard. His shell was very pasted to him. So he lost a little bit of feathers there when I uh, saved his life, really. I, I had to kind of ease him out of his shell, and it was a little rough on him. But he's good now. He's going to be alive and well. He's going to survive. All of our other little ones are doing well. These little bums should not be in here, so I'm going to get them out. <coughs> well, guys, as you know, I had this little cage set up for her to go in. Well, she didn't go in it. Instead... She had a little dirt hole that she had for herself there. Well, I wasn't so sure how I felt about the dirt hole. So I put a whole bunch of bedding there. And she's sitting there with her chicks. And then I gave her a little light for the night because I know chickens like light for some reason. <laughs> and uh, these guys still get to live in the dark. But she gets a little light for, for her chicks. There's feed here, water here, all just a step away from her. She's being a great mom so far. I'm so excited. I'm so glad getting here and peeping underneath her but so yeah this is what's going on mom's just gonna take a little nap now with her chicks all right see you guys peace